Life cycle in humans. The life of human beings and most living things are made up of cycles. What is a life cycle? When talking about a cycle or life cycle, we commonly refer to the period of existence and usefulness of things or vitality in the case of a living organism. In humans and most living beings, it consists of several stages. Birth, maturation, reproduction, and death. Let's examine briefly each one of them. Birth. Living beings are born from other living beings, either emerging from eggs, laid in some strategic location, being born from the bowels of their parent, or as a result of a division process of some nature, in the case of unicellular organisms. In any case, the living being is first born and immediately begins to feed and grow. Maturation. This is a resource accumulation stage of living beings in which they will grow to their adult size even if this means first going through some profound physical changes, as occurs in the case of insects that undergo metamorphosis. Throughout this stage, the living being learns to live autonomously, defend itself, control a habitat, and prepare to reproduce. Reproduction Individuals that have reached maturity, that is, are successful adults, will begin their different reproduction dynamics which aim to perpetuate the species. Some look for a mate through various and complex mating rituals. Others build nests or dig burrows, produce flowers full of pollen, or simply initiate the biochemical processes necessary to divide in two. Some organisms reproduce multiple times throughout their lives. Others barely manage to do so once. It all depends on how long their life cycles are. Death The inevitable destiny of all life is to perish. When the time of the life cycle begins to run out, what human beings call old age, the body begins to show its deficiencies as a result of wear and tear, and begins to be less capable of sustaining vital dynamics leading to illness and eventually to death. These stages are seen in different ways depending on the culture where the individual develops. Let's check now birth, adolescence, maturity and old age for Judaism. The life of an individual follows a ritual rhythm in Judaism that goes from birth to death. These rituals, by the way, mark the social acceptance of changes that occur within the life of every Israelite. Birth and Circumcision Brit Milah, the Circumcision Covenant It is up to every father to comply with the biblical precept of circumcising his son on the eighth day day or to appoint a qualified representative to do so on his, on his behalf. The Bar and Bat Mitzvah The celebration of the Bar Mitzvah, which in Hebrew means Son of the Commandment, is the moment when re the religious community accepts a child as, a, a, as an adult member and takes place when the child turns 13. One of the most anticipated moments for parents is when their child performs the bar mitzvah at age of 13, according to the Hebrew calendar. The young people are trained and studied in advance to assume the responsibility of fulfilling the commandments, an event that will be remembered for all lifetime. We believe that there is no greater inheritance for children than to teach them to keep the commandments of Hashem as Deuteronomy 6 verses from 1 to 9 says. Now this is the mitzvah, the statutes and the judgments that Adonai your Elohim commanded me to teach you so that you may obey in the land which you are crossing to possess. 
so that you may fear Adonai your Elohim and observe all his statutes and mitzvot that I am, that I am giving to you, 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 your children and your grandchildren as long as you live, so that you may have long life. Therefore, listen Israel and be careful to obey so that things may go well with you, so that you may multiply greatly, as Adonai, the Elohim of your fathers, promised you to give you a land flowing with milk and honey. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Listen Israel, Adonai our God, Adonai is one. And you will love Adonai your Elohim, with all your heart, with all your being, and with all your resources. These words, which I am commanding you today, will be in your heart, and you will teach them carefully to your children. They will talk about them when they sit at home, and when they, when they travel on the road, when they go to bed, and when they get up. Tie them in your hand as a sign, put them around your forehead with a band, and write them on the doorposts of your houses and on your doorposts. We have assumed that culture because we know that it is the best thing we can teach our children. Thank you. We are delighted now to proceed and share a video about Jake following Jake's speech and finally Jake's blessing and the muscles. 